is uh, take a look at the good crowd here under the tent outside of the Casino Magic in Bay St. Louis Mississippi. Our next bout while well, we had talked about the man from Dominican Republic Le uh, Leonicio Bueno he's not here. Well he made it but he's not fighting he got here about eight o'clock can't go. We are set for the introductions Michael Buffer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to bout number six. Referee in this contest is Chester Como. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunk with white letters, weighing 215 pounds. His professional record, 15 and one. 14 of those 15 by KO. He's from Cincinnati, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the raging bull, Rocky Ray Villa. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the gold trunks with black trim, weighing 205 pounds. His professional record, 8-1 with 6 KOs. He's a native of Nanyamo, British Columbia. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane Kid Thunder Sutcliffe. Okay, gentlemen, I gave you the instructions earlier. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my uh, commands at all times. Touch gloves now and come out boxing. All right. We'll see how the young man in the gold trunk, Shane Sutcliffe, 18 years old, has never been knocked down. He fought in 21 tough man fights. He's never fought as an amateur boxer. 21 tough man fights from the age of 14. He lied about his age. He won 17 of them and lost four. Now taking on Rocky Ray Phillips. As a professional boxer, Shane Sutcliffe is 8-1 with six knockouts. Born in Victoria, British Columbia, now makes his home in Nanaimo. Shane Sutcliffe is 6-3, weighed in at 206. Rocky Ray Phillips at 215. Fighting professionally since January of 1987. And this is the kind of matchup these inexperienced fighters would like. If you're an inexperienced fighter and you're going to go in against a Tubbs or a Bone Crusher or a Tillman or somebody like that, you got a problem. But here you get a guy essentially on your level. And I'm sure Le uh, the Jacksons, Lester and Willie, though not related, are thinking to themselves, why couldn't I draw one of right. these guys? Not to demean them, but they're obviously more inexperienced and uh, not the well-known veteran. Good left hook by Sutcliffe. Good combination by Sutcliffe. He slaps with his punches a lot. Phillips trying to work his way in, got caught with the uppercut. Earlier he was working his way in. That time he just walked right into that uppercut. And not throwing throwing any punches was Phillips. You can tell uh, Sutcliffe is a kickboxer because many of the kickboxers uh, throw their punches without leverage. And we have a cut, I guess, huh? Some blood coming from the nose of Rocky Ray Phillips. They bang heads on the inside. And the heads going at one another again. Sutcliffe likes that uppercut. Yeah, I was just going to say he's found a home for that punch. Phillips leans in. There it is. Good left hook landed by Sutcliffe. Mouthpiece is out and the referee steps in. Time is halted. They'll wash it off in Phillips' corner. And that is part of the rules when a mouthpiece comes out. The referee is to wait for a lull in the action and then go back into the corner and have it washed off and replaced. Late in round one, final seconds. Shane Sutcliffe in the gold, Rocky Ray Phillips in the black truck. Good right hand, Phillips goes down. He's up, he's okay, the count should stop. The round is over. Once he's up, that's it, the bell is rung. Round is over, but 
That'll score some points for Shane Sutcliffe. Big round for Sutcliffe. Rocky Ray Phillips with a bloody nose, shaken at the end of the round. Getting set for round two of this sixth Shane, Shane, elimination uppercuts, round left bout. Uppercuts, left hook, step around like Jesse Potchett. Step around we go with back book. and we take a look here at the end of round one where Shane Sutcliffe was able to knock Phillips down. Good right hand. A little wider than some of the right hands he's been throwing, but uh, Smooth starting to get to Phillips. We heard Jesse Reed who's working with Shane Sutcliffe tell him also to remind him to use that uppercut. Hey, Jesse Reed could end up, what happens if he's working with two fighters that fight each other? Pretty good night. He gets a lot of money. <laughs> That's Tyrell Biggs warming up. He's in real good shape, weighed in at 224. And here they go in round two. Sutcliffe, uh oh, he's going back to the tough man days. Yeah, he had a flashback to, his, to the tough man contest. Jester Como will caution them, although it was pretty much Sutcliffe that did that. Sutcliffe didn't need to, he's dominating the action. Sutcliffe's last fight was November the 6th in Victoria. There's that uppercut landing every time he throws it. Won a six round unanimous decision over Matthew Brooks. Sutcliffe fighting boxing professionally since June of 1992. Rocky Ray Phillips' last bout was May 16th in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Good combinations by Sutcliffe. Despite the fact that Phillips is leaning in on him and crowding him, Sutcliffe is getting his punches in. Good right hand by Sutcliffe. And he is really not, Sutcliffe was a cruiserweight, of course he's not a big heavyweight, so he's not, doesn't have huge power in this division, but he's throwing some very good straight right hands. And once again, time has been stopped because the mouthpiece came out. Fans don't like the stop in the action. Well, we were hoping to have Burt Cooper, former heavyweight contender in the next bout, but he is out because of an injunction by his former manager. Good break for the Southpaw, Frank Peterson from Australia. He'll move right into a match with Dan Dan Kuda. Phillips landing a body shot as he continues to crowd Shane Sutcliffe. It's kind of like doing the NCAA tournament all in one night, you know, in the Sweet 16. Yeah. Oh, good combination by Sutcliffe. I don't know if I'd go quite that far, Al, because some of the uh, quality of the, the fighters, you know, I wouldn't put on the the level of the Sweet 16, but these guys, these guys are game. They're competitive. You may have a point. <laughs> There's a cut over the left eye of Rocky Ray Phillips in the black trunks. Now that's how you don't want to throw that uppercut from way back. Which is where Sutcliffe did it. He could have been counted against a different fighter, but Phillips at this point, very slow. He's got a, a bad swelling around the left eye. That left hand was low. Big hook hurt him though. Sutcliffe hurt him with the hook. Sutcliffe at only 18. He has some potential out. I saw him fight as a cruiserweight up in one of the fights uh, that I did up in Montana, and he looked pretty good there, showing that the, the work of Jesse Reed as his trainer is paying off, and he's learning. A cut over the left eye of Phillips, a big welt under the left eye. And right now, Sutcliffe getting no room whatsoever. Now he got some and landed a couple of jabs. End of round two. I would imagine Sutcliffe having fought in the tough man contest doesn't mind all the, the bullying tactics of Rocky Ray Phillips. No, and more than anything else, he's used to fighting a bunch of fights in one night. This is the sixth fight in the elimination round. They take a look at Phillips' eye. The doctor is going to take a look. Phillips, I believe, told the referee can't see out of the eye. 
the player. This one might be over. Red stop. Okay, that's all. We'll finish it. We'll finish it. We'll finish it, ref. We'll finish it. We'll finish it. He's tiring you. I'm telling you. He's tiring you. I didn't have time to do that. Go for it. Oh. I think uh, Phillips Corderman may have persuaded him to continue. He seemed a little reluctant. They told him he's more tired than you. Uh, I don't think no. so. No. Sutcliffe's the guy moving and throwing all the combinations. Phillips looking to land a big left hook. Sutcliffe talking to Phillips on the inside. Sutcliffe looking confident now. Sutcliffe a late replacement. The Ancio Bueno from Dominican Republic was supposed to be in here, an undefeated fighter. But he only arrived at the airport about an hour ago. Talk about jet lag. And in fact, Phillips was a replacement for Henry Tillman, the former Olympic gold medalist, uh, who was going to fight and uh, decided not to. Mouthpiece out again. And here are the fan reaction to the stop in the and the bout. Shane Sutcliffe looks like he has the bout well in hand right now, and he will go on to meet the winner of the Sudikov Tyrell Biggs match. It could be very interesting bout. Sudikov, the 30-year-old, experienced Russian, experienced with a lot of amateur bouts. Tyrell Biggs, former Olympic champion. He's been in with the top fighters. Phillips just walking right in after Sutcliffe. And now Phillips is doing what he should have done before, which is jab his way in. It's too late, unfortunately, for him. Probably in this fight, unless he would land a big shot, which doesn't look like he's going to do. Some of the fighters originally scheduled to be here when the, the announcement of this event was made, Michael Dokes unable to compete because of personal problems. Henry Tillman pulled out, and this fight is over. The referee has stopped it, and basically, I guess, deciding that uh, maybe Phillips was spitting the mouthpiece out, but that's it. Referee has stopped the fight. And I, Phillips didn't want to continue. And I don't think Phillips did want to go on, truthfully. So probably a good move. And for Shane Sutcliffe, it saves him another minute and a half of boxing or so. She doesn't mind. A one-sided fight. Shane Sutcliffe, a late replacement from Victoria, British Columbia, comes out a winner. And there. There are the Burts. Is Bert Kirkler going to fight? Bert Sugar, what's going on? Uh, it's another another installment of, of the sequel to As the Boxing World Turns. Bert, you're all dressed up and with any place to go? No, no place to go. In other words, you're showing us you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to rumble. And yet you can't. Is that I right? Can't. I can't because of Rick Parker. And what are you going to You want to make a statement. You want to show everybody you are ready. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to show you, but I'm ready. I'm ready. The only holdback is Rick Parker. And my question to you is, would you get into the ring if the casino said you can't just to make the statement? Yes, I would. All right, you heard it here. This, this, this whole thing is a soap opera serial. Back to you, Al, and back to you, Sam. I can't wait for Bert to write the book. Michael Buffer with a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Chester Cuomo Stops the bout on a disqualification after repeated warnings for losing the mouthpiece to the blue corner. That's Ray Phillips. The winner by disqualification, he now advances 18-year-old Shane Sutcliffe. Nice night for the 18-year-old from Canada, Shane Sutcliffe. He was supposed to fight a warm-up bout earlier this evening. They held him back in case something fell out. It did. He's in. And he's already got himself guaranteed 20,000. We show how he dominated this match against Phillips. And 
This is toward the end. That was the knockdown, the initial knockdown. You know what? The big winner so far tonight is uh, Jesse Reed. As we take a look at uh, Sutcliffe whacking away at Phillips. Jesse Reed won with Dan Dan Kuda in one bracket. Now he won with Sutcliffe in another. So he's alive with two fighters. And there's the right hand by Sutcliffe again, the, the knockdown. Yeah. Came right at the end of round one. And now we're going to have the 